So you bought a brand new Nexus 7 tablet, and you want Flash Player running off of it. You looked around, and you may have seen the Dolphin Browser 8.5 win method. It works, but you don't hear any sound from the Flash Player, and you sell all the instructions to root ROM and do all the extraness to get it done, and it's just not for you. Well, here's an easier method to getting Flash Player on your Nexus 7 tablet. Now, for most people, I've looked around and seen the Dolphin Browser method. I mean, maybe it's just me, and maybe I have that kind of luck, but the flash sound didn't work. Now, let's get to business. First thing you want to do, you're going to want to go to the Play Store and download a browser called Xscope Pro. It's going to run you about $3, but since you got $25 from your, you know, purchasing a Nexus 7, that shouldn't be an issue to pay for in any case this browser right here alone enables you to have flash I tried a few different method methods and a few different other browsers that says flash work but I ran into all kinds of issues so once you go through the Google Play Store and download the browser you're gonna download I mean you're gonna have the X scope pro on your desktop now make sure you do not already have a flash player APK already installed that you may have downloaded from four shared because once you do that, it's going to pop up an installation message to how to get Flash done. I already done it, so right here, you're not going to see mine pop up. But the tab is going to take you to is going to take you to XDA developers to get that specific Flash APK. If you try to do another one like I have earlier, it, it probably won't work within this browser. So I use my two finger swipe to move over to show you the APK specifically that you need to get from XDA so the Flash can work with Jelly Bean. That's the one you're going to have to download. You download any other one, it may or may not work. I've tried it. I went to ForShared, used that method, and the flash just did not work. And I was wondering what's going on. Maybe the browser doesn't work. I looked around at other users' comments, and they all say that it works for them. So I was, you know, I, maybe it, it was the other flash that I had. Maybe I had the wrong version. So I'm guessing that was the wrong. So anyhow, you know, once I downloaded it, I'm going to demonstrate, you know, how the flash, how this flash player works. So I'm going to go to Google.com, and I'm going to go to one of my favorite uh, gadget sites. Everybody should know this one in Gadget.com. Probably one of the top, what, 10 most viewed gadget sites around. And I'm just going to, you know, slowly go through it, and I'm going to show you how exactly how the flashlight works. Most likely, I'm just going to go to a Nexus 7 tab and just show you, like, you know, a video demonstration that they do on the Nexus 7. So just bear with me. As you can see here, I have, just like in the older versions of Android, I have my flash set to on demand. I wasn't one to have my flash player always on as I felt that it slows down the browser and I don't need that if I'm not looking at flash specific content. So once you see the green button, you hit it, hit play, boom, that, there you go. You have your flash content loaded right there. You just hit play and everything works fine with no issues, no problems whatsoever. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that this thing is 100% stable because it, it's really not, especially if you go to like a real flash heavy content, it's going to crash and it's going to kind of act wonky. But for the most part, or 90% of flash content you may view, you should have no issues with the browser. And, you know, of course, different devices are going to have different results. But for the Nexus 7, you should relatively have no buggy issues, you know, at least to the point where you can't watch what you just want to watch, you know. So, you know, that's just me demonstrating how it works. So, you know, quick rundown, Play Store, Xscope browser, make sure there's no previous Adobe Flash APK already installed. Get the specific APK Flash from XDA developers, install that, you're good to go. Yeah, so as far as the installation pop up, if you did have one installed and you uninstalled it and you open it from a fresh what you would do is you would go into the settings and then from the settings you would go to reset re, reset defaults and then you would hold back once you do that it closes it and then you will open up from like basically as if you just freshly installed it and the browser will take you through the installation part of it so other than that let me just show you some features here's the toggle this is why I think it's very unique the darken mode this feature is specific for AMOLED screens to save you a lot of bad life in your web browsing so I, I, I like that they actually included one of my favorite apps, Pulse has that, so that way, you know, it's easy on your eyes and it's easy on the battery life. Lock the rotation, that's a pretty cool feature, you know, I use that all the time, especially if I'm laying down using my thing. Ad block, ad block, obviously self-explanatory. Here's another way you can have the flash on auto or on demand, you just hit the little flash tab, 
off and on and it'll give you the option to have on demand or auto load images obviously everybody's gonna have load images on a browser and if you're taking to a mobile version you have the feature to request desktop site right then and there so that's pretty unique and then like I was speaking to you earlier about the reset defaults you will scroll to the bottom and you should see a ref uh, reset default so you can have that installation uh, to flash pop up for you if you if you need that you know so here's my little review or my easy method to having flash play on a Nexus 7 tablet hope y'all enjoyed my video so please rate comment subscribe any questions just shoot me a comment and I'll do my best to answer